morning, kids. Welcome back to Science and the Scriptures. It's the last day of January, and we're going to talk about creating a picture today. We'll start first in God's Word. Genesis 1, 26-28 says, Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock, and all the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. From the beginning, mankind has been a unique part of creation. God made us special in his image. That's something that sets us apart from all the other animals. Not only are we separate from the animals, but we have been given charge over the animals. Many differences exist between people and animals. First, Humans have a complex language. There are many languages in our world. We have a sense of history. We know the past and we learn from it, hopefully. And we have accumulated knowledge through our generations, stories and stories and lessons that have been learned throughout many, many years. We also have unique artistic abilities. That's what we're gonna practice today. We've been blessed with minds that can produce an unending variety of beautiful music and works of art. Animals don't have this ability. This robin has a particular song that is beautiful, but is largely unchanging. Its nest is intricate, but is the same design season after season. The robin is programmed to instinctively do robin-like activities. It simply is not capable of experimenting with new songs or new types of nests. So it has ever been for robins and for other kinds of animals since creation. Beautiful spider webs and flowers show God's handiwork, not of the animals and plants themselves. Human creativity truly sets us apart, further showing our special creation in God's image. After all, he is the great artist and creator, and he stamped his image on us. Today, we're going to practice your own creativity. This is a tangram puzzle. It's easy to make and super fun to create pictures. You can either cut out your own puzzle or we can find the pieces somewhere, or maybe online. I'm going to show you how to create one on your very own. To make your own, you'll start with a square of cardboard, six inches on each side. You could use paper too. It just might hold up a little better if it's cardboard. Next, you're gonna draw two diagonal lines that connect the opposite corners of the square. So you're gonna draw this line and this line. Next, please mark one of the diagonals into four equal lengths. So I put a mark here and here and here. Next, I'm gonna mark the bottom and the right sides into two equal lengths. So I'll cut that in half and in half here. Again, we're still just drawing. Next, and this is tricky, we're gonna draw a line to connect the two marks we just made, the ones on the bottom and the right. This line is parallel to the one in the middle. Now we're gonna draw a line from the bottom middle to the diagonal over here. Next, we're gonna draw, and this is the trickiest one, this is the last line, from the middle of this bottom triangle to the top of the diagonal. That's our last line, okay? Now, if you want, this is a perfect time to color each one of those shapes a different color. The next thing you'll do is cut them out. After you cut them out, you'll have seven different shapes total. Now's the time to be creative. 
I'd like to challenge you with these seven shapes to make biblical shapes, like a cross or a church or a star or a candle. You can make letters and other designs. And I'm gonna show you some other designs that you can make, lots and lots of animals. And as you work, I want you to remember this simple activity shows our unique differences from the animal world. We're a special creation. All forms of life have a common creator and he is an amazing artist. And remember, we were made in his image. Let's look at some shapes you could make. You could try making a camel or a swan or a cat. You can pause the video and try to fit your pieces together. It might be hard to see, but they'll fit. How about a penguin or a dog or a bird? A fish, a swan, a cat. There's a few different cats I like. What about these? A crab, a bird, a snail, a bear, a dog, a cat. I'm gonna show you some that I made. Can you guess which one this one is? It's a swan. This helps you to see a little bit how those pieces fit together. I've got a penguin and a cat. That cat is sitting up. And there's another cat, she's ready to go. And finally, a little crab, although I think it looks more like a spaceship. Anyways, I hope you have fun with these. I'm thankful you're here with me today and I pray that you will have a great week. Let's close in prayer. Lord God, we love you. We thank you for creating us apart from the animals, for giving us special abilities, special talents, because we are created in your image. Help us to always use them for your glory. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen.